This is a Unimat 1 lathe. Basically, it's toy lathe. I'm going to show you how this thing does cutting aluminum. It's a modular, cute little modular thing. Extremely well made. For, despite the fact that these are plastic, um, this part here, these are extruded aluminum. This, that's a plastic lathe chuck, but it's still a pretty functional lathe chuck. And it has many of the features of a, a real honest to goodness, big people lathe chuck. And the, the lathe is actually not bad. It's pretty functional for being a toy. So here's a comparison with, uh, I guess it would probably be great grandfather or grandfather at least. Uh, this is the Unimat SL. Uh, actually, it's a DB200. Anyway, that's uh, from the 1950s or 1960s. This is more modern. This is probably from the 1990s. This is the Unimat 1. Not sure why it got named Unimat 1, because this is uh, certainly predecessor to that one. Anyway, um, you can see that there's a lot of differences. This is a real honest to goodness lathe that can actually do serious work. This um, is basically, this is a toy. I actually consider this one to be more or less a toy compared to a, a full-sized modern lathe, but this can do serious work. Uh, you can set it up and do pretty serious uh, machine work with this. This one, on the other hand, not so much. This is just a toy, but it does serve the purpose of maybe getting a kid interested in using machinery and understanding the basic function. It does have a lot of the um, basic design features of a real honest to goodness lathe. So, it, and it's extremely well designed for being a toy. I'm not sure how the Chinese imports uh, compare to this. It would be interesting to have one of those to just see how different they are, how similar they are.